Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. It's now time for the featured bout of the evening. From the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring, the fight starts now! This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special, and there's no hype. Let's go! No respect to these guys! Let's go! You better believe it now. That was something special. 20 rounds, 20 victories. It was Lamb versus Lion. And still, the undisputed champion of the world. And good afternoon and welcome, everyone. My name is Jeremiah Gallegos, your gracious host for today's official press conference live for the Renaissance Dallas as we edge closer and closer to Saturday night's lightweight fight between William El Camarón Cepeda and Jaimito Arboleda, the 12 round lightweight title attraction. It's all being presented by Oscar de la Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions in association with Samson Promotions. Tickets for, for the event are still available and you can get your tickets at utatickets.com. Act quickly. You don't want to miss the fight between Cepeda as he's back in action and headlining a great card. If you're not able to make it out to the fights, catch all the action streaming live globally around the world on DAZONE starting at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and on the West Coast at 5 p.m. Saturday's event is sponsored by Bet Online, your online sportsbook experts, and by Masculine. Don't be a man, be the man. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, catch all the Fight Week action attractions. Uh, we'll start tomorrow with our official ceremonial weigh-in, which is open to the public. Doors open at 11.30 a.m. Prelims for the weigh-in at 12.30 p.m. and for the zone portion at 1 p.m. And Saturday night, Fight Night, live from the UTA College Park Center. Doors open to the fans at 5 p.m. The first fight will start at 5.30 p.m., which is our preliminary attractions, and the zone portion will begin at 7 p.m. And ladies and gentlemen, before we kick things off, help me welcome to the podium at this time for some words, Golden Boy CEO and Chairman, the Golden Boy himself. A big round of applause for Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Um, we, are, we are extremely, extremely proud uh, to be back um, here in Dallas. We, uh, we have a terrific, terrific card for you on Saturday night, live on uh, The Zone. We are extremely excited to uh, be showcasing, uh, once again, a, a fan favorite fighter who um, in the lightweight division has been making a splash um, and some noise. Um, when, you have, when you have the likes of Shakur Stevenson, for instance, who is calling out uh, William Cepeda, you know, you know that William Cepeda is doing something, something right. Um, William Cepeda is a fighter who is uh, on his way up. He's a fighter who uh, is undefeated, who obviously um, is, a, is a, a fighter who, who is very exciting to watch. And a testament to that is that he, ha he holds the, the CompuBox record in the lightweight division um, with, with the most punches thrown in, an, in a fight. I believe he threw, uh, uh, um, he threw more than 1,500 punches in a 12-round fight, uh, which obviously broke the record that was held uh, for, for many years against a great fighter. Uh, he's coming off some wins against uh, Jojo Diaz, and obviously he's ready to step up. Uh, he has a very difficult fight in front of him. Um, that uh, we are we are sure that uh, it is it is again going to be uh, another another exciting fight uh, um, from uh, from William Cepeda. He's uh, he's facing uh, Arboleda. He's from Panama, a fighter who uh, um, has a lot of a lot of power, a lot of skill, a lot of speed. Uh, but most importantly, he's hungry. He's hungry to dethrone 
the uh, the undefeated fighter uh, in the main event on uh, on on Saturday night. Um, we strongly feel that the lightweight division is one of the most exciting divisions now in the game today. We are coming off a terrific, terrific fight uh, from last Saturday with uh, with Ryan Garcia um, and and Tank Davis. Um, when you take a look at the la the landscape in the lightweight division, um, you know that uh, that um, you have serious contenders. You have um, you have serious champions uh, like the Shakur Stevensons, um, like the Lomachenkos, uh, like the Haneys, um, the Devin Haneys of this world. So uh, I'm very proud to say uh, that we have a very very um, important uh, main event on Saturday night, um, headlined by, uh, by William Cepeda. Uh, in the co-main event, I'm also thrilled uh, to, be, to be showcasing uh, two young fighters who are amazing young fighters um, in the featherweight division. Uh, Diego, Diego de la Hoya with a record of 24 and 1, 11 knockouts, is coming off a very impressive win. Uh, we strongly feel that uh, this fight here against Victor Morales Jr., who's undefeated in 17-0 and 8 knockouts, um, not only will, be, will they be fighting for the uh, WBA Intercontinental Featherweight title, but obviously the winner will move up uh, into a contention to fight uh, in the top 10, and uh, obviously uh, will be in line to uh, fight for a world title very soon. So the main event and the co-main event are very, very, very important uh, for the featherweight division and the lightweight division. So um, the undercard fights are terrific. We have a lot of local talent uh, for, the, uh, for the local fans. Uh, but more importantly, the top fights on the DAZN telecast are fights uh, that are are very, very important for, for not only their careers, but um, if you want to be crowned world champion, then you must win on Saturday night. So um, again, I'm proud, proud to be here. Dallas has been um, a great fight town. It's very unfortunate that, um, that uh, Virgil Ortiz um, got sick on us, and, um, and, uh, but we wish him a speedy recovery. He's, um, he's uh, on the verge of getting a lot better, and uh, we will have him back sometime in July. We're really looking forward to that. Uh, but in the meantime, we have a very, very special, special card for you on Saturday night. So thank you very much for receiving us. Thank you very much for uh, watching this great card on the zone, and uh, we will see you Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. And now at this time, we like to begin the action, the zone action. Our opener, Saturday night, eight rounds of the super middleweight division. We start first from Reading, Pennsylvania. Comes an undefeated 12 bouts, 12 victories with nine wins by way of knockout. A big round of applause for David Stevens. Where are you at, David? David, there he is. All right, David. A couple of quick questions for you. Uh, how do you feel these days and, and, you know, you're about to be on the zone as the opener. How does that feel for you? Uh, it feels really good. You know, I'm ready to make my golden boy in the zone debut. I've been training hard in Houston, Texas, under the tutelage of Ronnie Shields, and we're ready to go to work Saturday night. Any pressure knowing that you're going to be on the zone Saturday night? A little bit, but... Not really. Um, I'm one of those guys, I feel like I was made for this. So once it's time to step, I'm ready to step. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. David Stevens, best wishes Saturday night, live on the zone. He is our opener. And up next, representing Chicago, Illinois, by way of Accra, Ghana, with a record of 29 victories, three defeats, and 22 wins by way of knockout. He is known as General Akunka. Please give a big round of applause for Frederick Lawson. Where's Frederick at? There he is. All right, Frederick. 
How is it dealing with your change in opponents being on the B side first and now you're on the A side? How does that feel for you? Uh, actually, I'm going uh, to say hi to everyone. And secondly, I'm going to say it, it feels a lot. I hurt a lot, but it's like you've been in training camp getting ready for one opponent. Next moment, the opponent has changed a couple of times, and it's like it's feel crazy. But I'm okay. I'm ready. Excellent. Uh, any final messages for your fans uh, out in Ghana and around the world? Actually, the big message for my fans in Ghana is like they keep the hopes very high, and we're still out there doing the good work to bring a title down there one day in the future. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Frederick Lawson. Tomorrow night, live on Saturday night, live on the zone. He'll be making his appearance. And now, at this time, put your hands together as we hear our co main event participants introducing first for a 10 round fight featuring Mexicali's own Diego de la Hoya to the podium. Buenas tardes a todos. Gracias por estar aquí a Oscar por darme la oportunidad y a Golden Boy por, por ese título que, que este sábado me lo voy a ganar. Oscar for having me here and thank all the media for being here and I look forward to a good fight on Saturday. He querido esta oportunidad de un título del mundo así que esta, este sábado es mi oportunidad para que Golden Boy confíe en mí y me den la pelada por el campeonato del mundo. This is a great opportunity that I have coming Saturday night for in the near future fight for a world title for Golden Boy. So thank you for the opportunity. Sé que Victor viene bien preparado y sé, sé que yo y él vamos a robarnos en la noche. Esta pelea no tiene que ser coestelar, tiene, tiene que ser estelar. Vamos a sacar chispas en el, en el ring. I know I, I know I have a tough opponent ahead of me where he may not be the main event, but this fight will steal the night on Saturday. Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you all. Gracias, Diego. And his opponent representing the Pacific Northwest comes in undefeated, known as El Tornado. Let's hear it for Victor Morales Jr. to the podium. How's it going, everybody? Thank you for being here. I'm super excited for this fight. This is going to be a title fight. This is the first, uh, this is the, the way to go for us to fight for a world title. Someone's leaving that with that title this Saturday, and that's going to be Victor Morales Jr. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out. Thank you, Golden Boy. Thank you, DAZN. Thank you, my team, all my sponsors. This is going to be a good fight, and uh, I hope he's ready because we're very ready for this fight. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. All right, we got some questions for, uh, for our participants here. First, for Victor, you wanted this fight, and you asked for it via social media. Why? We asked for this fight because we, we need names, and we want to fight the best in the division. Uh, we originally had planned for this fight to be a great fight, but recently we got that title fight. That just adds, you know, the frosting on the cake. So... We're going to go out there and do our business, and uh, we'll take care of it. All right, we're going to have Jerry Truax do the translation here. Diego, do you feel that this fight will get you back in the rankings for a title shot soon? Diego, ¿piensas que esta pelea te va a poner en camino a un campeonato mundial? Sí, sí, es una oportunidad para rankearme otra vez en la, en la división. Y pues como les dije, este sábado voy a salir victorioso y me voy a llevar, me voy a llevar el cinto a mi casa y que Oscar me dé la oportunidad por el campeonato del mundo. Okay. For sure, this fight's going to put me in line and that's why I come Saturday night. I know I have a tough opponent for you, but I'm, I'm going to, I plan on beating him and getting that title shot down the road. Thank you, Victor. Same question to you. Do you feel having a big name opponent this time around, do you feel that all the attention that you you're going to get Saturday night. Do you need that in your career? Absolutely. I mean, the second we get it, that's what we work for is we need to get our names out there to get our rankings and, and to just fight. I mean, you can be the best fighter. You're not going to have uh, the, same, the, same, uh, the same path. 
So this is, this is my path. We wanted somebody with a name and a good fighter that was going to test us and push us to the limit. And so we asked for Diego, and that's what we got. Thank you. Diego, how much does your experience come into play with this type of fight coming on Saturday night? Diego, tú tienes la mayoría de la experiencia. ¿Qué piensas que te va a ayudar este sábado tu experiencia? La paciencia. La paciencia va a ser 10 rounds. Pero estamos confiados en nuestro campamento, en lo que hemos hecho. En el ring veremos quién saca más chispas. Yeah. The fight's 10 rounds, but I've had a great camp. And we'll see on Saturday who makes the biggest spark. Perfect. All right. Final statements between the two fighters for a co-feature attraction. Victor first. We had a very great camp this fight, as we do all fights. Uh, we're going in there to make a statement, and the statement will be made Saturday night. All right. <clears throat> and for... And for Diego, your final statements for Saturday night, what do you have in mind? Diego, algo que quieras decir antes de la pelea del sábado. Bueno, que no se pierda esta pelea por este sábado por razón. Va a ser una gran función. Así que la coestelar se va a robar la noche. Can't wait for Saturday night. It's going to be live on the zone where the co-main event is going to be a great night of boxing. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our co-feature attractions has given both a big round of applause and best wishes live on zone from Arlington, Texas. And now the main event attraction. 12 rounds for the WBA Continental America's lightweight title. First up from Miami, fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Panama, we bring up to the podium. Let's hear it for Jaime. Jaimito Arboleda. Eh, buenas tardes de todos. Pues muchas gracias a Golden Boy, a Samsung Boxing por permitirme la oportunidad de, de estar aquí en este compromiso frente a un gran rival como es William Cepeda. Pues vamos a hacer el trabajo necesario arriba del ring para salir con la victoria y, y encabezado con, con mi entrenador Ricardo el Madrid de Córdoba, ex campeón mundial, pues vamos a hacer el trabajo para salir con esa victoria. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Thank you to Golden Boy and thank you to Samson Boxing. Uh, we've done everything that we've needed to in camp to come out victorious. We know, have, we, know we have a tough opponent come Saturday night, but we've done everything to get us in line to win. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias, Jaime. And now making his return to the ring after an impressive showing last October against Joseph Jojo Diaz. Representing San Mateo, Mexico. He comes in undefeated, known as El Camarón. Let's hear it for William Cepeda. Buenos días, buenos días a todos. Eh, primeramente, agradecerle a todos los medios por su presencia, a Golden Boy, a Oscar de la Hoya, a mi, todo mi equipo por todo ese apoyo, por darme la oportunidad. Eh, es, para mí es un honor, eh, por segunda ocasión, ser este, estelarista en una gran función aquí en Texas. Eh, ocupar el lugar, me gustaría mencionar de, que voy a ocupar el lugar de, de Virgil Ortiz, a quien también me gustaría eh, darle ese honor. Eh, de, de dedicarle mi pelea y desearle pronta recuperación y pues también eh, vengo muy motivado, muy contento eh, de esta pelea que, que se nos avecina, sé que tengo un gran rival, tengo un fuerte compromiso y, y pues eh, primeramente Dios vamos a ir por otra victoria más okay. Good afternoon everybody I'd like to thank everybody for showing for coming to get you coming today. I'd like to thank Oscar and Golden Boy for this great opportunity. I know I have a tough opponent, but I have a great team. We've been well prepared. And I'm very honored that this is the second time that I'm the, co that the, I'm the main event here in Texas. So I'm ready for Saturday. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias, Camarón. All right, we got some questions first for Jaime. We got Jerry as our translator. How big of an opportunity is this for your career? ¿Qué tan grande es esa oportunidad para ti en tu carrera? ¿Qué tan grande es esta oportunidad para tu carrera? 
No, es, es la oportunidad de, de, de vida, eh, de enfrentar a un gran rival con un buen récord, pues un hombre aguerrido y, y esa noche nosotros vamos haciendo su trabajo para demostrar que Jaime Robleda todavía tiene material para, para lograr hacer campeón mundial y, y demostrarle a, a todo el pueblo que todavía hay Jaime para rato. It's a chance of a lifetime, obviously. I'm well prepared. I've done everything that I could do to be prepared and put my name up there uh, to be a titleist. Thank you. For William Camarón, how are you feeling getting back inside the ring, headlining as the A-side fighter once again? ¿Cómo te sientes ser el estelar en esta pelea? Eh, como lo mencionaba, me siento muy contento eh, por segunda ocasión eh, estar como estelarista. Eh, es un gran honor, eh, por eso igual me preparé muy bien. Sé que el grado de dificultad de la pelea eh, es bueno, pero estoy muy contento. I'm super glad, I'm glad and honored to be headlining for the second time here in Texas, and I'm happy that I have a strong opponent on Saturday night. Thank you. Jaime, have you seen your opponent fight before and can you match his pressure? ¿Has visto a tu contrincante pelear anterior? Eh, nunca lo había visto pelear, pues cuando me tocaron el tema de mi rival, pues vi, vi algunos pequeños videos eh, y sabemos la capacidad que tiene Cepeda de, de combatir. Eh, muy, tiene muy buena condición física, pero nosotros hicimos nuestro trabajo en nuestro campamento eh, para salir con la victoria, primero Dios. I, I don't have uh, a lot of video on him. I did see a, a few videos on him, but I know what he's about. You know, he's the champion. I know what, that he's going to come well prepared, but I also know that I'm well prepared come Saturday. Thank you. William. What do the fans expect from you this Saturday night? You always put on a great show. Tú siempre pones un gran evento, William. ¿Qué esperas para los fanáticos? ¿Qué pueden esperar tus fanáticos este sábado? Bueno, pues hicimos igual una gran preparación. Eh, como siempre, nos entregamos al 100% en el campamento. Eh, esperemos brindar una gran pelea, Arboleda y yo. Eh, sabemos que va a ser una noche buena para eh, el boxeo y demostrar de qué estamos hechos, de qué está hecho el camarón y que merece también ya pronto demostrar que estamos hechos ya para un título mundial. I'm well prepared, 100% well prepared in camp. I know it's going to be a great fight and I know it's going to be a great event for the night of boxing that we're going to have on Saturday. The final message between both main event fighters, we're going to start first with Jaime. What do you have to deliver to all your fans around the world? Un último mensaje, Jaime, para tus fanáticos por todo el mundo. Bueno, que esperen una gran victoria de Marboleda y que vamos a salir con la mano en alto. Okay. Expect a great fight come Saturday and I expect to be victorious. William, final statements. Un mensaje de último. Pues agradecerle a toda la, la afición boxística mexicana y, y de Estados Unidos y del mundo que no se pierdan esta gran pelea este 29 de abril. Eh, va a estar muy emocionante y primeramente Dios vamos a sacar una victoria más. To all the boxing fans, Mexican fans, world fans, expect a great night of boxing and it's going to be very emotional. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our main event attraction, Mexico versus Panama. 12 rounds for the WBA Continental America's lightweight title. Let's give both of our fighters a big round of applause. It's going to be on Saturday night from DAZN. There you have it. We got the fans giving the shout out to fellow Mexican right here, Camarón. And before we move on, ladies and gentlemen, I want to acknowledge one of our fighters here. He was a former member of Team USA out of Houston, Texas, with a record of three victories, uh, three bouts, three victories, and three KO victories. Ladies and gentlemen, Darius Fulgham here with us. Glad to have him on hand. And before we let you go, we'd like to get some final statements from the golden boy himself, Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you very much.
very much. Um, yeah, Saturday night will be will be explosive. Saturday night will be um, will be a, a crossroad fights in the co-main event. Um, uh, will be a terrific fight in the main event, but we also have um, um, a nice treat for you guys uh, throughout the uh, the whole card from top to bottom. We pride ourselves in putting on great fights. We pride ourselves in uh, giving the fans exactly what they want to see. Obviously, it's up to the fighters to perform and to fight. Uh, most importantly, uh, we know for a fact that every fighter here is ready. They are determined, they are disciplined, they are uh, ready for their big shot. So I'm excited, uh, fans are excited to watch Saturday night. So uh, we'll see you there in the arena and live worldwide on the zone. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. <clears throat> Once again, thank you for joining us here for the final press conference ahead of Cepeda and Arboleda. A reminder, the fight will be live Saturday, April 29th at UTA's College Park Center, streamed live around the world on DAZONE, and all being presented by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions in association with Samson Promotions, sponsored by Bet Online, your online sportsbook experts, and by Masculine, don't be a man, be the man. Tune in tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget the weigh-in tomorrow. All the doors will be open, 11.30 a.m. Bring your boxing fans here for the official weigh-in here for the Renaissance Dallas at our official Fight Hotel. All the fans are welcome. We'll see you then, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, it's golden time.